everyone. It's a lovely sunny day today. Oh, as I say that, the clouds come over, but it is a beautiful sunny day today. And I'm just taking a walk along the river in Stratford-upon-Avon after picking up my keys from the estate agent. Yes, I did it. I got rid of them. So I sent them an email uh, yesterday and said that I no longer wanted to proceed with them. Please take my house off the market and I'll be in to collect my keys this week. And I also put, like, it can't be any surprise to us after all the issues we've had, and I would like to be released from the rest of the sole agency agreement. And their response was, no, you're tied in for another two months, and so I suggest you just keep marketing with us. Anyway, my response was, just take it down now. Um, I didn't get into an argument because I wanted to get my keys back. But I think it might be interesting to know well, maybe interesting to you, but maybe helpful if you're looking to sell is all the mistakes I made so that you don't make the same ones. And I did all the cardinal sins, so this is quite embarrassing to admit. So I signed up with the first agent. I picked them to come around first because when I was actually buying this house, I was I obviously viewed quite a few properties myself. And I was very impressed with them as, you know, an agent for the seller. Of course, this was, what, seven years ago? It all changed hands now. It's not the same company at all. And I fell for his marketing bluff, you know. He told me he'd get me over 320 for my house, that it was worth 330 plus. Um, he told me when I said, oh, what about photographs? Give me a couple of weeks to, you know, get the house sorted. Oh, no, 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 leave it as it is. It looks unique and different and it will stand out. <sighs> Just looks like a cluttered mess, doesn't it, to everyone else? I mean, it didn't to me, but it does to everyone else. Ah, he told me I'd have an open house, that the board would go up outside, that they would be pushing this to all the people on their books and they had loads of people looking for a free bedroom house that was central to Stratford with parking and that this would just fly off the the shelves, you know, no worries. And I fell for all that. I signed a sole agency agreement for 26 weeks, six months. I should never have done that. I should never have done that. So I should never have done all those things. Now, interestingly, I kept asking for a copy of my contract because within a week, I wasn't hearing anything from them. And I was going in their office every other day to ask them, oh, what's going on, what's going on? Um, you know, and they were getting viewers and then I was saying, well, you know, was there any feedback? You know, have we got any more coming through? What's happening with the open house? Where's my for sale sign board? Where's the copy of my contract? And it's just carried on. They never called me. It was always me calling them or me going to their offices. And this was in the first one to two weeks. Now, I did not know at the time because they never gave me a copy of my contract that there was a cooling off period in them and there is in all estate agent agreements. And they're supposed to leave you with a cancellation form when they sign you up in your home. And he never did this. And he still has not given me a copy of my contract. I got this a month ago from the solicitors and I saw this and I thought, I would have so used that because within a week I knew this was never gonna work out. And so I felt a little bit cheated there. They, they, you know, they've, I think they've been dishonest about I probably will raise this with the, uh, or what are they called, you know, the professional body. Uh, but there's not a lot I can do about it now. You know, there's no point being angry, it's done. Four months have been wasted and we just need to start again. But next time, what I've learned is I will not, so, so, I will not sign a sole agency agreement. I will meet several agents and I will ask much more pointed questions. It's very easy for an agent to just put it on right move and wait for people to call and make appointments. But what I want is an agent that's going to make sure when a viewer comes in, they're selling the house. You know, he was very good at selling me into a contract, but he wasn't very good at selling the house to a potential buyer. And you also want an agent that's going to keep the process going. So when my buyer was diddling about and I was asking him, why is she not doing anything? Why is nothing moving forward? Oh, everything's on track. I've spoken with the solicitors. He did nothing. 
He never spoke to them, and that all became apparent when it all fell through. But a good agent would have been chasing up every single part of the process, making sure it's going through. But of course, he thought he had six months to divver about. Well, it's not going to get a penny from me now. And if he wants to sue me, well, well the thing is, I'm not going to be selling it in the next two months, am I? Because I'm in Australia. And then the agreement will be over. So, <sighs> it's disappointing, isn't it? But I've learned a lot. I'm not going to make these mistakes. The house is obviously a lot clearer now because I've decluttered everything. Uh, there's no cushions around. Um, I've repainted parts of the house. I've got rid of a lot of the furniture. There's nothing on show. There's no photos out. No, nothing. Everything is in the garage in boxes or up the tip or in charity shops or sold on Vimted. I've done a lot. Cleared up the garden. So I think it's looking better for when I get back from Australia to go with another agent because it certainly looks bigger and clearer. So that's the plan. Anyway, it's been a very stressful four months, but I tell you, now I've got my key back and it's over. The sense of relief is... Every day it was causing me so much stress, thinking, oh, they're not calling me back, they're not answering my messages, it's just going on and on and on, they know they're not doing anything. Oh well, we live and learn. And as I always say, I think these things happen for a reason. And it was definitely on the market for the wrong price. It was on the market for the wrong price all along. Even they did that when they changed it because of the right, not being on the right move bracket. I mean, it's just such a, it's such a simple thing they should have got right to start with, isn't it? So I think what I might do as well is ask for recommendations through Facebook because there's so many Stratford forums. Someone must have sold a house recently and have some insight into some of the other local agents. It's interesting because when I was in the gym the other day, one person recommended an agent and then the person next to him said, oh no, how long ago did you sell with them? He said, oh, it's about three years ago. Yeah, she's no good now. She was good when she started and she had three or four clients. Now she's got a big office and lots of people. She's no good. So we need to find someone that sold recently and had a good experience and uh, gets the job done. Anyway, isn't it beautiful here? Let me show you the river. Turn you around. You know, it's so peaceful here. It's a lovely place to be. It's even nicer when the sun's out. Look, there's some little rowing boats. It's a lovely place to live. You know, if you're going to be in the UK, it is a beautiful place. Beautiful place to come and visit. If you've never been to Stratford-upon-Avon, You've got all this lovely park space, lots of nice walks, a bit of history. Hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching. <sighs> Gonna concentrate on Australia now. See you all soon. Bye.